Hello, today I have a new tech product to review. It's an Ethernet switch from uh, Ubiquiti and I'm uh, already familiar with the product because I, I bought a 24 port switch a few years ago, two years ago and I realized it was quite noisy and the only options to have a, a quiet switch is the 16 ports. So I bought another uh, 16 port switch and um, I still have some weird behavior in my network uh, but since I've been like upgrading all my switch slowly to uh, ubiquity products it's getting quite smooth but then yeah that's how, how they do it huh? you hook to the product so so that's the 16 port so the box hard to open it's a nice box for switch because Cisco, they, that's how Cisco package your product. Yeah, I can tell uh, Ubiquiti, they, they know how to make the, to treat the, the graphic design. And so, up. So, uh, rack mounts, two rack mounts, it's simple. But but Cisco, they don't, I don't know if they are doing it now, but they, they, they used to not give you that and to find them it was quite a pain. In a, so it's good. Even so, I'm not gonna use it. Power cord and screw. Little manual for Unify. European French power cord. Hmm, nice, some little. Uh, I'm gonna use that uh, and more screws this one, what's the difference uh, those one are definitely for the rack mount but those one but it's the other uh, this that's for the rack and that's for the switch and the little guy, the mini mini switch. Um, yeah, I was hesitating with a 10 gigabit switch, but the 10 gigabit one had too many SFP ports. And pff, yeah, sure, it's good to have a 10 gigabit and SFP, but uh, the cable are very expensive. So I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have an unlimited <laughs> budget. So I'd rather use copper and. Uh, and aggregate the ports. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try later if it works. So here we are in my mini data center, and that's the switch I want to change to replace. So I realized that um, it's good to have a, a one U mounting equipment, but uh, it takes more space. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put it somewhere else because this thing is much smaller. So I'm gonna power it down. Be nice. Yeah, voila. Let's move the keyboard. Where is it? It's not so much space here. So wait. Yeah, when it powers up, do you hear? There's a fan in there. It's not a passive uh, heating. It there is a. The fan it's powering up and um, and yeah, it's noisy. <laughs> so that's what happens when it's uh, when it's hot. As you can tell, and I don't like this one. Okay, one green uh, one green light means one gig. So yeah, that's good. It's simpler than the planet gear. So if you're not familiar with that, why it's called a 150? I guess if you if you're interested in that type of switch, you you you, you must know that they um, they are power over Ethernet switches. So it's 150 watts enough when you just have 16 ports. I actually in this area I just have one access point, a ubiquity access point in my uh, in my desk for the first floor. So instead of having some dirty transformer 
uh, in my in my office. I'm just gonna replace that by one little cable, but then the cable I have to uh, install it, and it has to go to the switch because right now there is a second switch on my desk because I have over I have many little I don't know Raspberry Pi or things like that, and I need a lot of Ethernet ports. So I'm almost good to go. I think uh, I'm just gonna plug back the shared hard disk because. Yeah, they're gonna go on strike and yeah actually my computer needs them so yeah that's uh, the next things next thing to do now i'm gonna turn on the unify application on my uh, computer to check what's going on with the switch so i just installed the unify application up you start it take some time so i don't know what it's doing maybe storing some spyware on my computer They say I need a security gateway. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I do. I'm gonna resize that. Okay. And let's see if the switch is recognized here, devices. Here, see, I was not lying. One shot. Uh, pending adoption. So, should I upgrade it first? Okay, Let's upgrade it. We're gonna see how slow is my internet connection. So it's gonna take maybe. 30 minutes. <laughs> so meanwhile, no, no, meanwhile, it's just fast forward this thing uh, when I'm gonna edit the video. 3.3, mm, okay, there is no new, newer firmware than the one I have everywhere. Hmm. I hear the switch stopped. So, oh, actually, it's a bad. It's really a bad news. If I can hear the switch from my desk, <sighs> another source of sound pollution. Okay. Why I didn't? Okay, let's adopt the switch first. Adopting. I'm gonna name it uh, POE16 Bureau. Yeah. Okay. So it needs another upgrade. I'm not gonna do it because you saw how long it takes. So I click it. Then you get this new interface. Maybe I should resize it in case. Uh, and on configuration, I'm gonna give it a name. So let's say PoE 16 Bureau. Uh, save. Yeah, here it is. After its provision, I'm gonna check all the ports. Because right now, uh, why? Why nothing is displayed? If I go to that one, yeah, you see? You have a nice um, overview of what's happening to your port. Okay, yeah, it just happened here. So I close that box. So that's the new one. So, standard. Uh, one gigabit ports. This one is idle because the computer is sleeping and it's in the um, wake on uh, LAN uh, mode. So that's why it's, I think it's a 10, 10 megabit. Uh, and uh, that's the port for the, the access point I was talking about. This one. 
So this port is using 3.16 16 watts. If I want, I can restart it and I can edit it. And because it's in PoE plus, meaning I think it's I don't know what it is. PoE plus. It's quite confusing. I don't know why they they don't just use one one format of power of, it, uh, of power over Ethernet because bah, that's actually why they kind of push you to buy the those switches because they they handle everything and they, they do auto negotiation over power of Ethernet. Um, yeah, okay, but everything is running. So I will um, do something else. I will check the port aggregation. Okay, I'm quite on a different mood now after trying to make the ports aggregation function work because I um, realized my um, network uh, NAS uh, is not uh, really supporting this. So I tried to go on the um, Debian interface setting and then I was unable to reach it and uh, it got quite scary because my model is a bit old. So I had no idea how to, to reset the network. I uh, eventually I found it out and actually if you're interested uh, it's a uh, Netgear Ultra uh, not Pro but the problem it's the same hardware but uh, so Netgear uh, Readiness Ultra not Pro 4 with four discs and uh, basically I had to do a operating system reinstallation so it sounds scary that's why i was scared i was like no no, no because i i configured it a lot but no actually at the end of the day it's just resetting network and um, all all your admin settings so you know, they all go back to, to default and i didn't lose any of my script or nothing so it's all good but uh yep yeah. <laughs> enough uh, enough uh, thrills for today and uh, yeah just uh, I will show you uh, how it works with uh, when I have installed my uh, my new uh, network uh, attach uh, device. Uh, I don't know what's what the acronym of uh, NAS stands for. Okay, yeah. Take care. Bye.